Well, hi there. I'm Sandy Alnock, and I'm here with another in the series of study and Bible journaling for Holy Week based on a PDF that's in the description below that you can download and join in as well. And the line in today's devotion that got me was to truly live, we must surrender to the king we really needed, not the one we might have imagined for ourselves. And in the devotion, in the meditation, they had a whole bunch of Jesus predictions for what was going to happen to him. And everybody wanted the king they wanted, not the king they got. So that's where this whole thing came from. And what I'm doing here is I printed it on the Tomo River paper because I wanted to do some ink work on it. And I measured the center, marked that, and then measured from the that center point to know where to trim my top and bottom edges, my left and right, so that it would be a tip-in to fit in my Bible. So I got it all measured and then used my paper trimmer. And you can download it either with Jesus is the king I need or just Jesus is the king because that might be more useful because the I need part is more based on this particular devotion. I'm using a fountain pen. I have just fallen in love artistically with fountain pens and I love how they write on this particular paper. This paper, the Tomo River, Tomoy River, Tomo, Tome, I don't know how you say it, T-O-M-O-E. <laughs> it's a, a Bible-like paper. It feels like Bible paper. And for me, that means I can put more of it in my Bible without making my Bible a giant thick thing if I had to use thicker paper. You could also just do this on some computer paper. Totally easy. You don't have to use that paper. But I love how a fountain pen works on it. Just very smoothly um, draws and writes on it so it's nice. I do have a piece of paper under my hand because I tried this twice before and leaned on wet ink and made a mess and had to start all over again. But what I decided to do was fill in the background with inked lines. It gave me a long time this morning. Um, yes, it was a very long time. It gave me a long time to meditate on this particular scripture and the meditation that was written in the book and just thinking so much about who I want Jesus to be versus who he is. And he is who I need him to be. I need him to be my savior. And all the times that I think, oh, I'd like to have a Jesus who's more like a candy machine and just fixes things. Right now the world's in a, in a big hurt and we could use a candy machine to just make everything go away. But that's not who he is. He's King Jesus who came to save our souls for eternity. He's not as worried about what's going on right now. He's worried about souls. And I really started as I was doing this, just making of lines, praying through that. And, and what is it, Jesus, that, that I keep asking you to be? And why is that not enough? Why, why is being the savior of my soul not enough? And repenting of that in the places where I found myself thinking that way. So in order to remember all these things that I was thinking of, I decided to add a little something to the bottom before I finished all of the doodling. And that is the sentence or the phrase, even when I think I need something else. And then I took a ruler and made a box around it so I could continue my doodling all the way around it. It really is amazing the things that the Lord can reveal in our hearts when we spend time with him and really let him dive into our hearts and reveal the places where our faith may not be so pure and our thinking may not be so right. It's certainly possible for us to get off track without realizing it. And I think times like preparation for Easter the whole Lenten season, the Advent season, when we spend extra time in self-examination and preparation, those are really special times when the Lord can, can just wake us up to things. And this particular day has been a good one for me. A little bit of an ouch here and there, because yeah, definitely not an easy thing, but still a, a valuable lesson that Jesus taught me today. To finish off my page, I put some double stick tape on the back side of it. Some people just use some washi tape. I use this double stick because it stays really, really sticky and it glues it in permanently. So I'm not going to accidentally pull it out of my Bible. 
but it's super sticky. So make sure when you get it down that you've got it exactly where you want it. And I start by lining my paper up around the outside edges so that the outside lines up perfectly. And then I can kind of hold it in place and very, very, very carefully lay the paper down and shove my finger down in the corner. Sometimes you can even just use a bone folder or something to slide that back down in there to make sure you get it tucked in just perfectly. And then you don't have a piece of your page hanging out. So there is mine all done. Links are in the doobly-doo for Jesus is the King and Jesus is the King I Need. You can download either one if you want to use them. Get the kids to do them as coloring pages. Color them with whatever medium you want, any way you would like. And I will see you again tomorrow. Be blessed as you prepare your heart for Resurrection Sunday.